Mary Massick with Calaveras Community Television. We're here in the semi-ghost town of Campo Seco. Some of the residents here might not agree with the ghost town, but it really is a ghost town compared to what it used to be. It used to be a kind of a rip-roaring town that attracted people from all over for work. First for the party dam in the 1920s, about 1928 the dam was built, and then later for a copper boom when the copper mine was running. People flowed in and out of this town and tourists came buzzing through here on the old gravel roads. Dogs, kids, bikes, wagons, horses, donkeys, you name it, Campo Seca saw it all. Mabel Pereira came here in 1928, approximately, we're not real sure, and she saw it all happen, lived it, experienced it, was part of this town, and we're going to talk to her in a few minutes. But right now we're looking at her store. This is the Pereira store. Don't know when it was built, but do know that it had the most interesting merchandise in the world, everything. You know, it's a beautiful day here in Campo Seco. And it's kind of nice to imagine what it must have been like years ago when there were yeah. lots of people here. This is a kind of a ghost town well, now, huh? We're here, do you, you came here with your mom and your stepfather? And yes. my sisters. You've new sisters, uh -huh. saw two of them, one of them. Yeah. They came here to work on Party Dam Half and sisters. watch the town grow. Yeah, and go to school. I, went, I hadn't been in the fifth grade when I came here, so I went up there to the little school and graduated. So you were raised here all of your life, huh? Well, no. I, well, no. I was about about 15 years old when I came. My sister Albert is here. She she was a big girl, and then we have a little sister too that's in Antica. Three girls, <laughs> no boys in our family. What was the town like then, Mabel? Oh, it was a pretty good-sized town. God, they were building Party Dam, and they were yeah, they had road houses. <laughs> And they had, uh, what else, uh, sometimes they had, we had a hall and we had dances and we had a good time. Then too, again, they'd be somebody, hurt somebody pretty severely and... Well, so they, did they have a hospital or anything here? No, not in this community that I know of. Well, when you moved here, didn't you tell me that um, you and your mother built a house out in the creek, out near the creek someplace because there was no housing? Oh. See, you take that road right there and go way out there someplace with some vacant pro property, and my folks took it up, like a homestead. Uh huh. And yeah, that yeah, we we lived out there. That's where we lived until I married the man that owned the store. Okay, so you so you lived out uh, by the creek then, well, in this house that you and your mom built. It wasn't really a creek; it's more just 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 like that is right out there, you know, just. Good old country. But where did you get the skill to build your own house, you and your mom, while your stepdad went to work? Well, you know, when you need something bad enough, you can do it. You just do it. Yeah, huh? you yeah. just do it. So you, your stepdad got work then on the party dam, and yes. and when you were in high school, did you meet? Uh, who did? How did you end up staying? Oh in this well, place? my husband, I mean, the man I married, was running the grocery store here, and we traded with him and. He and I fell in love, and we married, and had Ramona, and Edward, and Carmela. Okay, I, so what was your husband's name? And well, it's Angelo. Angelo. Angelo uh, Pereira. Pereira. Well, no, you know, you know, those tin sheets are about that wide, and they're heavy metal, and I had to carry those things up a mountain to to get, you know. I had to help my dad. He couldn't do all that. Of course, we had a temporary house, but I mean, to have a better one, we found all that tin going to waste. Well, a lot of people did that. Yeah. Didn't a lot of people yeah. have to kind of make yeah. their own place to live oh, because yes. it was the hard times, those hard it was times? Depression, they call Depression, it. <laughs> right, exactly. I call my cat Precious. <laughs> <laughs> you named her after the Depression. Yeah, depression. Oh, and there I, were other people living in tents and makeshift places. Mm -hmm. There was a, one area, now I don't know where it is from here, they called it 
either camp town or something like that, and there was nothing but just campers out there. There was no place else to go, and there was no work, and a lot of them was too lazy to work anyway, but times were awful hard when we came here, really. Yes, they were hard for everybody, mm -hmm. I, and for it's everybody. true. Times were hard during the Depression for everybody. And my husband had Luckily, there was work at Party Dam for your stepfather. Yeah. yeah. Well, my, the man I married, uh, his uh, partner... This is Angelo Pereira. And his partner owned our home here, and uh, he wanted to get out of it, so he wanted aunt, my husband to buy it. So he, he did, he, but he had to have help, some friend or somebody help, because nobody had much money. And then he, he was Spanish and he didn't speak much, very good English, but he had a wonderful personality and he managed to start that and made Keep a go it going. of it. Uh -huh, yeah. till, well, what kind of things did they sell in the store? I'm, everything. We went through it today. There was stockings, shoes, buttons, anything you name, we had it. Well, it was, what kind of people came to your store? What kind of people came? I mean, was it the local townspeople? Local people, people yeah. Did they have a fun time? Was it sort of the, you know, sometimes oh, a grocery store is the meeting place. wonderful times. We had, we had like a club and all of the people get together on certain days or nights and have a get together, even if we just had to, we had parades up and down the street. We did. <laughs> kind of made your own Absolutely fun and entertainment. Prayed. We had a, it was wonderful. Yes, uh, I'd get in the car, I mean, in my, what did I, she say? I had a buggy? Mm -hmm. Oh, get in the buggy and the dang horse just couldn't hardly pull it. And I'd whip him, you know, and say, giddy up, giddy up. And I'd look around and my husband-to-be would be holding the back end of the wagon. <laughs> and, it was, and the horse didn't have, the old horse was knock-kneed, didn't have the strength to pull me. <laughs> Down the road. Well, where were you going with this horse and buggy? I was going home. I was going out with my oh, home. Yeah, oh, he for, was chasing uh, you, huh? Well, I'd come to the store for something, and then, of course, I had my eye on him. He had his eye on me, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the horse couldn't hardly pull it. He had those knocked knees on down by the ankle. Oh, poor old horse. <laughs> so everybody laughed about that. Well, those men got, had jumped off the horse and was holding the back of the horse, <laughs> holding the back like that of the horse. And the poor thing couldn't pull it. It was so weak. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this building here behind us. Oh, God, I don't think I know much about that. I, I know at one time it was a building here, and I could see those uh, women that, you know, for uh, night purposes with gentlemen, they would uh, they would be dressing, and they you could see them put on this and take off something, you know. And being a young girl, I thought that was awful. <laughs> and then we had we had some sheep. My husband's great for stock. He had some sheep, and he put the sheep in here in the field, and they'd walk up that thing and get way up on top of there in the daytime <laughs> and you could see them, you'd be sorry they'd fall off or something, but they never fell off. So I guess the sheep were kind of a tourist attraction. Yeah, right? well, they they were edible too. But, uh, <laughs> Didn't you tell me uh, right across from your store, why don't we walk up here by your store away? Mm -hmm. And did you, did the, uh, did you used to have like a saloon here too or oh, something? Golly, yeah. Not a saloon, but a bar. Show you the entrance. So there was a bar here, and where was the entrance? Right here. Oh, downstairs, huh? Yeah. Oh, we had more fun. It was cool. You, you could come out here and almost smother, and you could go down there, and in five minutes you were cool. It's a cool cafe, is what we called it, because we furnished sandwiches and things. We had to, had to, to keep it open, I guess, to give some food. It was like, oh, you had to have sandwiches to keep yeah, it open. It well, was called the Cool Cafe cool because it was cafe. cool inside. Oh, cool. Boy, I tell you, many times three and four guys say, well, I got to go, and they get right here, and they say, oh, God, I'm going back down and have another beer. It would be so, it would be, <laughs> let, me, let me get on this side of you if you want to. It would be so hot out here and cool down there. <laughs> well, for one thing, the store was a one-stop place. You could buy anything from turpentine to garlic or castor oil or fruit or anything. We went through it today. It's still just about the same. There's, you know, every 
article and things are there yet. Didn't you tell me that one time there was a, a butcher shop or something across yes. the street from the store yep. that uh, your son painted a sign on? Yep. Tell me about right that. Right over there. Tell me about that. Yeah. It, <laughs> Him and his friend got up there and painted the Dirty Dog Saloon on it. And <laughs> it brought me more cr trade than we'd ever had. Why? Well, people would stop and say, where's the Dirty Dog Saloon? Or is there, is there a Dirty Dog Saloon? Now I'd have to explain to them that the kids got up there and put it at this. Oh, that sign was, oh, God, a half as big as that, that one there. That, yeah. So, in other words, they they painted the sign just yeah. to be, they didn't really paint it to bring you business, but because they painted it, it brought you business, right? right? That's Where cool. were all these tourists going? Oh, I don't know. People must have heard about Camposeco from San Francisco to Alaska because they came here from all over just to see the little community. To see or like to go to the dam, do you think? Or? Mm, they always say, well, where's Camposeco? Well, you're in Camposeco, and then they'd browse around <laughs> and see what ever there was. See, we had the, we had, uh, the store open, we had lots of uh, merchandise and stuff mm -hmm. to sell, and uh, my husband was very accommodating. He would do anything to help people. We had the gas station right here. Of course, it's gone now. Yeah. And uh, we had, we just had everything. We had a one-stop store. Well, uh, as I, as I recall from a picture that we saw, the store was, you know, a busy place and people would come here to come, a meeting place in the community and they would have parties. No, our meeting and, place was up there at the schoolhouse or uh, somewhere up there we had a, Well, true, we had that a was a club. formal meeting yeah. place, but I mean people kind of met at the store and they could pass messages back and forth or they would come here to the little cafe and play cards and yeah, bring the, the kids. And, a, and didn't you have raccoons or something that the tourists enjoyed? <laughs> And a dog? Oh, God, yeah, the <laughs> poor little thing. Yes, and it caught a roadrunner going. Uh, I, took, I took the dog out over the field there, like where those black cows are. Uh -huh. And this roadrunner got in front of us, and danged if he didn't run it down, my hmm. dog, <laughs> run it down. It was hard to do, a roadrunner. Oh, boy, them little old feet just gets up and goes. I didn't even know there were roadrunners in the area. No, I've never seen any since either. It's just the best thing that happened. Because <laughs> they are swift. My, they can go. But he ran it down. <laughs> so the tourists would come on their way to Party Dam and... Well, they learned these things in different places, maybe even back east or somewhere. Oh, if you ever go to California, don't forget Tampa Seco, you know. <laughs> and, uh, I've had Chinese people come and black people and people of, uh, uh, you know, wealthy people and things, and they just, they just can get enough of it. I don't know what the, what it was. I guess at that time it was unique, you know, enough. To well, it is a unique town now. It's sort of a ghost since, town. There's yeah. only about 25 or 30 people that live here now, and yet during the, it had two boom towns, mm -hmm. like in 1928 they were building Party Dam. Right. And that's kind of when your family got established here. Mm -hmm. And then it had another boom town when uh, the Party. copper mine yeah, was the copper going. Mine. Yeah. Uh, I had a whole bunch of people come in and kind of build up the town. And so you've seen it both. You've mm -hmm. seen a boom town and bust, right? Yes. And of course, your store was sort of the center of, all, of it all. Part got to see it. it kind of come and go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And now it's nearly nothing. <laughs> yeah. we it's your pretty country. Let's yeah. take a walk and go inside the store. Oh, this way, huh? had hats in it to sell and when they got sold I just stored them up there to look at and to keep in mind and then that's the phonographs and the horn to a phonograph. I had a lot of phonographs. Everybody seemed to. And then uh, there's a beautiful mirror there and of course we had the beer and the fruit. The shoe, the shoe things, we had 
some yeah, a man in our family used to do shoes for the family and we kept them up there. And those are just parts of things that just didn't get sold. Just we people who bought them. Are these coffee grinders? Yeah. Well, no, it's more like uh, what is like that? Like meat grinders or spice no, grinders? No, spice. Something? Spice. <laughs> Three different sizes. <laughs> and I see there's ba the kind of your basic uh, kitchen implements and mm -hmm. uh, little tools and stuff. Oh, there was worlds of things. There's a lot there you just can't see. It's all covered up with age and. Well, these are just little things that we had left over when I closed the store, and I didn't know much what to do with them, and just thought I'd keep them and store them up there. Of course, I could sell them at any time for some price. <laughs> but they're, they're probably worth more now, Mabel, than they oh, were when they were new, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm sure <laughs> of that. And, of course, the main part of your collection now is in the museum, right? Part of it's there, yes, but I'm still kind of partial to these. It's kind of fun to come and look yeah. once in a while, huh? Um, I'll open this where you can see it a little more. I think it's different as you go down. See, there's, there's uh, monkey banks and film and say. There are, uh, uh, toothpaste cans, and we have they're all... This iron one, it looks like it might be handmade, but that's what they used it for. Scraping the dirt off where you come in the house. Okay, so yeah, I see railroad pegs and yeah. railroad wrenches, loggers, picks. That's and a, I'm better than I know. I don't even know them. <laughs> <laughs> and these are handles that you take the burner yeah. from a wood stove. I remember those. Yeah, to keep your hand from burning. I was trying to find out what's in the back of some of these. But That's a cute teapot. I don't know what this is either. That's a medicine. New J O I. What did that mean? New Joy. I think that's a medicine bottle. Medicine. Right. So these just sell a lot of medicine, bluing, uh, everything. Everything you see here we sold and then some. And there's a bayonet on the wall. <laughs> Yeah, and a guitar or something looks like a guitar. But the one I like best is the dog and the old whatever that guy is with it. What is this? That? That's that picture of two dogs all dressed up in yeah, plumes and yeah. coats and hats. And they have a miner's hat up there, I see. Oh, God, yeah, it's been used too, hasn't it? It sure has. <laughs> oh, another you know, bank. Wheelands. Wheelands. Gee, it's too bad it's empty. <laughs> oh. Oh. Look at that little cap, deer cap. Who killed the snake, Mabel? Oh, God, I don't know who did it, but let me see. Rattlesnake, huh? Mm. I don't know who did that, but they, gave, they brought it to me, and we put it on that... Uh, Put it up in the store. When somebody brings yeah. you something, put it in the store, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> a lot of people wouldn't go near it. They're scared of it. It's dead and dried and everything else, and they're scared to death of it. <laughs> wouldn't come near it. This is a flag. It should be. No, it's been... Whose baby? Oh, God, I don't know. It's <laughs> not mine. No, I don't know. I just thought it was a beautiful picture. I wish I knew, but I guess there's no way to tell. See, there's nothing. What is this, Mabel? It's a beaded purse. I'm not, I have no idea who made it, but it's uh, beautiful and everything. It's perfect. There's nothing missing or anything. It's just perfect. Like this, too. This, you know what this is. And starfish. And a fish, starfish. And that's a pretty good size horseshoe. <laughs> and the old... I see you spent some time digging. <laughs> yeah. Pick that up in the ground, I guess. What's in here? Nothing much. Well... Are those, those are medicines, are they? 
lemon extract. Is the oh starch. yes, and uh huh. And the holly sal soda was a, a soap or crystals. To a tincture of arnica. <laughs> Epsom salt, you know what that is. Sure do. I see you still have apple juice in the bottle. Do I worry? Oh, yeah, God, that looks like good enough to drink. <laughs> yeah. You know, we just don't come down here often enough to know what's still here. Now, if you like to go gold mining gold you could take this oh that's a small gold yeah, pan. yeah gold pan it's been used a lot but Save did your it. mother use one of these oh panning for gold you just keep moving it like this and getting the rocks and stuff out and pretty soon if there's any gold it'll be down at the bottom that's just a small sample this has got something in it i think that's good enough to do. Eagle brand. What's that? Tamarindo, California syrup. Oh, God. Grinder upper. Meat grinders, huh? Yep. And onions and anything else you wanted yep. to put through. Now they have food processors. Uh huh. I like those old ones. <laughs> and there were lanterns. I sp did you have electricity in this store? Not early. Not in the early not days. Not in the early no, days. How did you. Um, how did you manage the store without electricity? With lamps and lights and what have you. I'm sure there must be some around yet. Oh, there's lanterns hanging up there on that wall. I see that. Still in place. Mm -hmm. Along with that yeah, electrical... Wait, I remember that old man that put that electric up there. Who was that? What was his name? Same one as that other one we was talking about. What is, what is it? Swagger? Swagger. Yeah. yeah. And he wired this place for you. If I'm not mistaken, he did. Mm -hmm. And those are those little ceramic tubes, and they ran yeah. the wires because the building, of course, was older than electricity. Yeah. Well, it, did he, didn't he bring electricity to Campo Seco yeah. before PG&E? Yeah. yeah, he had the first. He started down that end of town, and he he started uh, putting it together. And people just left him alone, and he come out on top with the factory, yeah. Because <laughs> he kind of sold it to everybody then. Uh-huh. Well, that was a good idea, huh? Gosh, yes. Now this was the dry goods part of the store, yes. and of course these boxes are still All sitting here still from here with the original new. <laughs> Here's a card with buttons. Yeah, buttons, and you had to have everything. And this is yes, you did have to have everything. I mean, you we supplied everybody. Best, we had the best grade of clothes and stockings, like uh, this one, for instance. What is that? What is that? It's called. Berkshire yeah, stockings. Yeah, Berkshire. They were the best. Brand. Oh my! And they still we didn't have the sell labels. Anything silk cheap. stockings. We had the best price merchandise. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Silk stockings. Pure silk, isn't that lovely? Oh, it and is. Gosh, let's see now. There's one good pair here. That's pretty good. As old as two the good pairs. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yes. Beautiful. No. No. Oh yeah. They're. They're. I see. There's two together. You know. I was born in 1940, and I have never seen a pair oh, of real silk oh stockings. My, this is a real nice. treat. <laughs> I think after the war they had nylon. Was it after the oh, war they had I don't nylon? Know when that came. And what's in this lovely box? Let's see. Celebrated Glastonbury underwear. I think oh, could there be underwear, underwear in here? Yeah, men's underwear. Oh my <laughs> goodness! And they're still here. Yeah, and. Uh, that pair is just, isn't that nice and warm for winter? Mm. You know, they fit me. Yeah. <laughs> it does, it's that. Now this is a men's uh, long johns, but you know, men were smaller in those days. <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> and they're pure wool, so they probably stretched. And they probably itched. And probably itched. Yeah. Anything about wool, it's uh, pretty itchy sometimes. 
ones. And here we have, oh, there's just undershirts. And look at shiny and more, more stockings look and ornaments. These, see, these are the, I can tell. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, Christmas stuff. In the store, we just had everything. But that's some different, aren't those buttons? Cute? Yes, they are beautiful. I don't know what's in that, nothing much. Nothing much in that, but something. Christmas, Christmas cards. Day. And um, I guess you had, besides dry goods, you had hay and feed for the uh, animals, beer too. Beer and wine and... Beer and wine. Ice cream. Hats. Ice cream. Dusters. Pickle jars. You you name it, we've got it. I guess so. <laughs> Here's some up here. There's old time jugs and there's... Uh, this is a complete set of early day... Uh, what do you call them in your... Where you washed your yeah, hands in the bathroom. when you didn't have... Right. Uh -huh. And then washboards have, up there. I have one, two, three, four, five different kinds of washboards. And they were all used to do clothes, too. <laughs> <laughs> then I have those iron kettles. More underwear. <laughs> oh, now these are at the waist. Look at that. That's the pants part. <laughs> now, see if you had sold these, you wouldn't have any of these treasures, Mabel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, these in here are just real nice things that accumulated and I wanted to keep. So, and we had these cases, so we just put them in. Just there. put them in. Are they, these are beautiful hat pins. Yes. When ladies wore hats, they had to buy, my goodness, they must be six or seven inches long. And <laughs> well, the hat was frogs. pretty large, too, in those days. Carnival glass. Well, all these things look nice, and we're glad that we saved them. But uh, I now live in my home up on the hill here, and... Uh, I just wanted to show these people the things that was here years ago. And of course, you don't live in the store anymore, but now you have it rented to someone yeah, else. I have it rented, but I can always come in when right. I want to look them over. Yeah. And also that upper picture I like very much. What is that of, Mabel? Architectures of movie mm -hmm. stars like mm -hmm. Ooh, Bing Crosby. Crosby. Yeah, he's one, and Bob Hope. Bob Hope. She mentioned them, and there's a lady at the very end, and I don't know who she is. Looks like Martha Ray, maybe. Probably is a bald-headed man. I don't know him either, but the rest. So the so the dresser is just something that you yeah, accumulated. Yeah, it might have been here when we got the store, or someone might have given it to me later, but I don't recall. This. Well, we've got down here to the front of the store now, but it's all closed up now, and it's in. Pretty good shape, too. Strong and sturdy. And of course, you also sold hay and feed and all the stuff for the local farmers and little barbed wire yeah, here and there. Not too much hay and stuff. No, it was strictly the store. Pretty much the store. Mm -hmm. well, my husband stayed he, he would stay here and sell stuff. There's how you sold combs. I bet there's no combs in there, though. It's a nice display thing. Ajax Company. Some nice men's shoes here. I don't know whose they were. Some of my men's shoes. <laughs> Nice flag here. You can tell she's still part salesman. A nice flag here. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of putting it out. <laughs> Hanging it up. When for See, this box behind you is a big refrigerator. We used to sell 
cold, anything's supposed to be cold out of there. Beer and lager beer and whatever. Did you notice it? Let's see, this is a lot of it. Okay, what was in here, Mabel? Well, we kept uh, sugar. sugar, but now it's got some baking soda packages right now. But... Oh, and the old scoops I see yeah, are still see, here. Yeah, to scoop everything out, uh -huh. whatever you wanted to use. And then you had, you sold bulk beans and sugar? Bulk beans, uh-huh. And this is where you cut oh, something. Like this is where you peel the, peel uh -huh. the bark, bark off of a tree. Or for whatever. paper. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't believe I've ever seen a door quite like this. This is to the cellar. How, how did you open yeah. this? You just had to well, pull up I, on it? No, I open it with the little one. Oh, I see. You just uh -huh. reach down. This here. is kind of... Uh, and that, that just... Don't even worry about it because this just pulls it up. But, oh, I yeah. see. Then, see, the weight is taking it down there. Oh, so this is down to the cellar below. Can you, I'm afraid for you to stand there. This is the bar. I mean, it goes down to the bar. I see. Well, we got a lot of other stuff stored down there, but it's, you run down here. And can you imagine tending to the store and hear the buzzer go and have to drop everything here and run down here and wait on somebody and then come back here. And wait on somebody and in the store. You just had to trust them because it was only one or me to do it, you know? Okay. Hang on to the little... <laughs> I don't Lovely day in Camposeco, and yes. like we said, there's still a few tourists coming around, huh? Yeah. Thank you very much for inviting us to Camposeco. It's it's a nice place. I can see I why it was so. a fun place <laughs> to grow up and be. Right. Maybe we'll come back another day and see you. That'd be nice. I hope you will.